Hey, it's Rachel Cook, your modern mentor. I'm the founder of Lead Above Noise, a firm specializing in activating workplaces, helping leaders create the conditions that unleash bigger results while engaging our teams. You know, one of the biggest secrets of activation is that the devil is in the details, and often it's in the tiniest ones. Like, I'll bring leaders into a program and out of the gate, they're ready to examine the big stuff. Like, do we need to rethink how we're structured or how we pay or what wellness benefits we're offering? And I always tell them, maybe, but not yet. Because so often what holds back our teams is way more foundational and frankly simple than that. Often the best thing we can do to activate our workplace is to find an organizational problem that's been around forever, that slows us down or creates friction in our day and just solve it. I don't mean the things that happen by accident once in a blue moon. I mean the stuff that just stays broken, always and forever bringing frustration to all those in its wake. Today, let's talk about how you can do just that. Whether sales keeps making promises that your client delivery team can't meet, or the receiving department puts away inventory that's impossible to find, or the medical supply cards at the nursing station are never organized in a reliable way, Let's talk about how to solve it once and for all. Whether you're a leader or just a concerned and maybe a little frustrated citizen of the workplace. Okay, start by confirming that your problem is actually a problem. Fun fact about me. I am a totally different person when we're running on standard versus daylight savings time. And you really only want to know the version of me that lives in daylight savings. That extra hour of sunlight is like a gift from the heavens. For my whole life, we have been moving the clocks back and forth. But when I first heard that this would be the year in which we moved to daylight savings and stayed there forever, I was over the moon until I learned it actually didn't get approved after all. And then my head nearly exploded. I mean, why would this be an issue? Obviously, everyone is happier with the extra hour of sunlight at the end of the day. Only when I started venting to friends did I realize that apparently not everybody loves daylight savings. Outdoor morning runners, parents whose kids walk to the bus stop super early, it turns out there's another point of view. Who knew, right? Is this a ridiculous story? Maybe. But the point is this. Before you launch a campaign to solve a problem, do a little bit of fact checking. Make sure that it is actually a problem and it's not just a matter of your personal preference. Next up, understand the cause. When something happens once in a while, it can usually be traced back to an error, a system breakdown. But when something is just painful on repeat, it's important to understand the reason behind it. One client of mine is a sales leader. He's really big on data, loves, loves, loves stats and numbers. And he relies on a sales enablement team to produce the data he needs. But he really hates the way they provide the reporting. He feels like it's messy, it's hard to navigate, has too much of some things and not enough of others. He's asked several times for changes that never seem to happen. He was recently complaining to me about it, and I asked him why the data is presented this way. Turns out he actually had no idea. So he finally talked to the head of the enablement team. He showed up with questions rather than demands and accusations, and he realized he had a lot to learn. It turned out the data is pulled from multiple systems, and gathering it into a single report is a lot of work. The changes on his wish list would take hours of additional work every week. Now, having this insight obviously didn't solve his problem, but it enabled him to tap into some empathy and some patience, which is an excellent start. And now he knows what he needs to solve. So think now about your eternal pain point. What seems like a break in the foundation of your organization that you need to better understand before you start demanding change. Next, clearly state the impact. The secret to getting a problem truly solved is helping decision makers understand the real impact beyond your own personal annoyance. My sales client, for example, had to find a way to express to the head of enablement that he didn't just want the data for the sake of data. He explained that certain metrics help him track the performance of different account executives, empowering him to coach them more effectively to drive more sales. Other data points helped him understand customer behavior, and with more detailed numbers, he could choose which products to prioritize for which customers. In short, his ask wasn't about his personal preference, but really about company profitability and customer delight, 
which, as it turns out, are the same goals the enablement team is chasing. When we can articulate a need for a solution that is meaningful for everyone, we trigger more willingness to help. So what is the workplace breakdown that's under your skin? Whatever it is, look beyond your own personal frustration and capture the essence of how this behavior is problematic beyond your own experience. And finally, propose a compromise. So at this point, you have a clearer understanding of why something is happening, and the other party has the same clarity around why it's a problem. So now it's time to compromise. In this case, my client took his list of asks and prioritized based on need. At the top of the list were the data points that would deliver the greatest value to him. And at the bottom were those that were helpful but less critical. In return, the sales enablement leader laid out all the possible changes he could make, ranking them from simplest to most difficult. The two leaders came together and found three spots where the need was high and the level of complexity relatively low. So they started there. Now, maybe in your case, you're not a leader. You may not feel as empowered to own a solution, but you can begin by talking to others, affirming their support and getting them on board. When you can align a bunch of people around a problem, its impact and a possible compromise solution, there's actually pretty little you can't change. Join me next week for another great episode. Until then, visit my website at leadabovenoise.com if your workplace could use a boost of activation. A talk, a workshop, a pulse check, you choose. You can follow Modern Mentor on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Find and follow me on LinkedIn. Thanks so much for listening and have a successful week. Modern Mentor is a quick and dirty tips podcast. It's audio engineered by Dan Farabent. Our director of podcasts is Brandon Getchis. Our podcast and advertising operations specialist is Morgan Christensen. Our digital operations specialist is Holly Hutchings. Our marketing and publicity assistant is Davina Tomlin. And Cameron Lacey is our marketing contractor. Music.